let's think about it. Can I begin by uh, welcoming the fact that the adjustment in this budget was 600 million less than the 3.1? Now, there were deputies in this House who argued for 3.1 million, uh, but it was a key achievement for us on this side of the House to see that adjustment at 2.5. Difficult and all as it, uh, as it remains, there's no doubt about that. Um, can I overwhelmingly welcome um, and express the sentiments uh, already given eloquently by the two deputies to my left, deputies uh, McGrand and Thierry Ray, in welcoming the retention of the 9% VAT rate. That was a very, very important initiative, uh, one that has worked well uh, for an economy that is struggling, I suppose, in many ways, outside of the pale. Uh, it was very important in terms of tourism and tourism-related activities, and it is no coincidence uh, that tourism numbers are up. Uh, it was an area I know that was of critical importance to people in that industry uh, and provides a lot of much needed jobs. So that in itself was a very welcome retention. I know it created some difficulty in terms of trying to find the alternative of 300 million, uh, but I am glad that government paid heed to that particular campaign and uh, retained the 9% VAT rate. Very, very important and very welcome. There have been for years, uh, last Kion Corla, uh, groups of people who have not benefited in any shape or form uh, from, uh, you know, what is on offer. They qualify for nothing. And the free GP care for under fives is a key Labour Party initiative. Uh, and I am delighted that that now has been announced because there are people out there in Middle Ireland who were squeezed so much last year on Corla uh, that when their child is coughing during the night, they will look into their wallet uh, and they will time. Uh, you know, weigh up the uh, 50 year challenge. You know, Deputy, I didn't interrupt Deputy you. McGrath, Do you ever please, shut your mouth? Please, if you don't mind. Would you ever Con shut your mouth? Continue, continue Deputy McCarthy. But th that is a key initiative, and that's worked a lot to people who are squeezed. And it is worked a lot to young couples uh, who are uh, doing their best to survive, who are struggling. That is a key initiative. And two and a half years into the lifetime of this government, uh, we have seen that particular policy come to the surface. Deputy McGrath. Another issue in Lascaux and Corla is safeguarding uh, class sizes for a third successive year. That is absolutely important. And I know there was a lot of, uh, I suppose, uh, interpretation about the whole issue of pupil-teacher ratios. So that in itself uh, is something I think that has assuaged a lot of fear and has calmed a lot of nerves. Now also with that, hiring 1,400 new teachers for primary and post-primary schools is very important. The construction-related initiative, looking at weeding out the black economy and also stimulating the rural economy and looking at issues like, for example, the disabled persons grant and home improvement grants to local authorities. That is very important, uh, a very important initiative for those who depend on that uh, activity, who have seen a, a very unfortunate dip in recent years. Uh, just two more points before I conclude last time, Corla. Uh, Sinn Féin's 800 million wealth tax puffed up. Their fairy tale economics disappeared. It was like puffed magic dragon. The second issue is this, and there are deputies in this house. Now, Deputy, you're going over your time again. The Fianna Fáil National Recovery Plan, their own document, called for 1.5 billion extra in social Thank protection you. costs Thank you. in this budget alone. This government are getting there. It's slow progress, but nonetheless, it is a program that is very much Thank you very progress much. that is needed and progress that is welcome. Under Thank difficult circumstances. Time. Thank you very much.